Well, guys, as you can probably judge by what the thumbnail and title of this video is going to be, uh, we're going to go ride on a little plane. I'm out here with Jeremy. You guys might remember him from some videos. We do some ice fishing together. He's owner of Icehole Power, uh, and he's got his pilot's license. So uh, since the last time we hung out, and uh, yeah, we're going to go for a flight. Yeah. You want to tell me anything about this? Yeah, so I got my pilot's license uh, back in June. Currently working on my instrument instrument rating, and uh, yeah, just love flying. We're gonna go out to we're in Lincoln, Nebraska now. We're gonna fly out to Grand Island, do some touch and goes. By then the sun all come, uh, all be down, and when we'll come back. I gotta get get some night landings in, so we'll do uh, a few night landings, and uh, and then put her back to bed. So awesome, dude. That's the plan. I'm super excited about this. I've never been in a little plane. I've flown on big, you know, passenger jets and whatnot, but nothing like this before. So what is, what's the year of the plane? This is a 73 uh, Piper PA-180. Uh, it's called a Challenger. We all call it a Cherokee, but it's like a Cherokee Challenger. It's the only year they did, they made a Challenger. Uh, and then they uh, transitioned over to the Cherokee. I got rid of the Challenger name. Mm. But yeah, it's kind of a, a unique plane uh, just because of that. 180 horsepower, four seater. It's 48 gallons uh, as far as your fuel goes. And yeah, it just, uh, it's not the fastest plane out there. It's a great trainer plane. Um, it's better than my plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a whole lot of fun. Yeah, it looks like it. So. All right, guys. Well, we need to do change the light yep. bulb. So what we need to do is we need... I know I've got a wing light that's out, so we need to change the light bulb, do our pre-flight uh, inspection, and then uh, then we'll get going. Awesome. So. Well, we're going to get that stuff handled. We'll probably film some of that, too, guys, but, yeah, we're going to get after it. Yeah, you ready to get high? I am excited for this. <laughs> I am very excited that for this. Over again. Okay, initial checklist here. Well, uh, weather, density, altitude, we got great weather today. Um, we'll, we'll go through that in the passenger briefing. Wind balance, I've already taken care of that. Uh, performance requirements, we usually that's that's when you're like high up in the mountains. So we're in Lake of Nebraska, so we're we're good there but as far as our elevation. Don't need to file a flight plan. Our paperwork is all good. Um, so yeah, let's do a quick walk around. Uh, basically, we're just putting eyes on a plane, make sure there's nothing big out of place, make sure all everything. Um, screw it in, I drop the flaps down a notch, just make sure all the air, everything's all connected. No loose screws. Yeah. No big like puddles under your plane. That big oil puddle, that's, that's normal. If it's leaking, it's got oil in yeah. it, they say. Evidently, uh, most planes leak. Huh. Most, uh, GA planes. Tanks are full. We got a stall light right here. This doesn't have a stall horn, it's got a stall light. So you keep an eye on the light. I'm gonna hit that stall indicator here. Lit up. It's lit up, so that's good. Our ailerons are. I always, this will be another check light around, but I always like to move the ailerons and make, make sure, sure that the yoke moves in that direction. Along with the elevator, but yeah, we're good there. Now you never want to push the rudder because the rudder has cables connected to the nose, the nose wheel. That's why it says don't push there. You have to do and that once you get in. End up stretching those cables out because that that's how you steer the plane mm. with your feet with your rudder. Oh yeah, that. It's all good. We gotta check our fuel. We gotta make sure there's no water in it. Make sure it's not all dirty. So do you have to fill it up every time you get back then? Yep. So I'm in I'm in a club myself and eight other guys on this plane. So the rule is you should, uh, to fill it up after you get done flying for the next guy. Plus that really helps out with the moisture because keep the tank full. Keep the tank full. Water can't moisture can't build up in there mm. and then problems happen you know what all that so that's one of the checks we're gonna do right now just check for water yeah. 
And then if, if we had water, it'd be, you'd be able to see it on the bottom and sink. That fuel. Is that dyed blue just so they know it's aviation fuel? Do you know that? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. But there's three places on this plane to check. It's like the, this is like the low spot. From my understanding, this is like the low spot. So any contaminants or water will be right through here. In this place, this plane only has three spots to check fuel. Um, like a Cessna, the plane I trained on, a Cessna 172, that's got four spots. Hmm. I didn't realize the starter was right on the front like that. And we got six. Six quarts in there, so we're, we're right on. So let's pull her out. foot here and your handhold here. Okay. So you just step up there. I'll skip it. Here. Hammer camera get a shot of you climbing in. <laughs> yeah, just leave it open for now. Leave it open. Yeah, we'll go through a briefing and all that. Okay. Got to write down some numbers. A little bit, a little bit of a process here. Oh, so, in aviation, we use what's called electronic flight bags. Basically, this thing has just about everything we need. All the information, once it, the plane starts up and gets loaded up, you'll be able to see all the planes around us. Oh, cool. So this is our map, this is our route from, from Lincoln to Grand Island. And it is 46 minutes. So That's not bad. 70, yeah, and we have a headwind. We have a 10 knot headwind. Mm, that's cool. If we get into a situation where um, we got to put her down somewhere, just uh, when we put her down, you want to get out as fast as you can. And that's going to be your job. So first thing you're going to do before we land is that, yep, that up there on top, unlock that. Okay. And then bust out of here. Take your seatbelt off and bust out. Um, go to the back of the plane and stay away from the propeller. Um, that's basically it. There's a fire extinguisher back there somewhere, but we're not going to fight any fires. Good. If we uh, have an engine fire or anything, I'm going to try to blow it out by falling really fast. Um, something that we practice a lot of. Um, other than that, just, uh, yeah. Don't push on the pedals. <laughs> we'll, we'll, prob we'll probably be fine. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, just keep clear of the yoke. Um, when I'm flying, um, yeah, just, just make sure you're not grabbing at it or anything. When it's your turn to fly, I'll say your controls. That way we have a positive exchange of who's controlling the airplane. I'll say your controls, you'll say my controls, and then um, and then you'll fly. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, fuel quality, we're, we got full tanks. Uh, quality is good. We pretty much did all of this. So we're right here, faster briefing. If you want to, are you recording that? This is there? recording, yeah. Okay. Um, 
hubs and tack. I already did that proper fuel on proper tank. We're, we're good there. I forgot my watch, so we have a timer on here, and that's what I'll use to switch tanks back and forth uh, because we have two fuel tanks. Okay. Uh, circuit breakers here. Why don't you pick this up right here? Circuit breakers. Yep. And that's right here in front of you. And those are all good. This one looks like it's out, but it's not. Okay. Alternate static ELT. Yep, that's right here. That's good. Armed brakes. Brakes. On. Pedal test. We're good. Okay. And then go up to start. Yep. So seat track back so on. make sure yep that's good you get your seatbelt on not yet I don't know where it is here, I'll, I'll take that just down here somewhere. yeah the long pieces on that side so. yep Get skinny. Too fat, I Try. They were a little small. Try being a fat guy. They were smaller in the 70s. <laughs> they were. There, there we, we go. go. All right. Buckled in. Okay. Breathe again. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, avionics. Off. Off. Autopilot. Off. Carb heat. Off. Beacon. On. Throttle. Slight. Slight. Okay. Brakes. Brakes are set. Prop. Clear prop, we'll do that right before we start. Okay. Oh, yeah, the prop is clear. Uh, master. Master on. Fuel pump. Fuel pump on. Mixture. Mixture four inch. Prime. Uh, we don't need prime, it's one off. Mags. Mags start. Clear prop.
18 gallons. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah like, 10 gallons on that side, 8.3 on this side. Mm -hmm. So, and I had just swapped the tank over, so. Uh, it'll burn eight gallons, about eight gallons an hour. So, eight gallons an hour, 48 gallon tanks. But you only have 46 gallons that are actually usable. Yeah, yeah you can go up. For a you can go bit. for a while then, yeah. But, you know, we're limited to my bladder. Mm hmm So what is, I didn't realize this thing actually had autopilot. Like, does that, yeah, yeah. like. Uh, so basically, it's, it's like first generation, it's about century one. It's very, very um, old autopilot. And what it does is it just keeps your, your track. And it, it kind of, it's, it's not as good as some, a lot of the other ones out there. It won't keep your, um, attitude uh, but it'll keep you pointed in the direction in the that right you, way you want to go yeah and uh so we actually in the club we just approved of getting a new autopilot that have some additional features it, well, be, hey thanks appreciate it thank you it'll be, you'll be able to keep your uh attitude your um, altitude and then um it also has like a really cool wings level feature so let's say we get in to a bad situation where in the clouds or whatever we get really disoriented push that button it's gonna get us flying straight and level oh it'll flatten you so, out so it's a very yeah hmm. yep so I mean, you know I mean, it's pretty easy to get disoriented you know when you're doing those steep turns mm -hmm. you know what direction are we in yeah like, uh, you know. yeah and it's so, you know a little bit of like am yeah. I going down am I going up you got, which yeah those G's pushing on you you're doing this and then you're trying to look at instruments and look outside and look yeah around and, you know. there's a lot to take in in there yeah Huh. Yep. I uh, absolutely love it. Just wish I would start earlier, start sooner. So, but. I feel that way about a lot of things in my yeah. life. I should have done it sooner. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, you can't see us because there's not much light out here, but uh, we've made it back. We got the plane in, uh, gassed up. It's all put away. Wheels are shocked. And that was an amazing experience. Nothing that I've never done. Uh, and I hope to do a lot more of oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Thanks again for let's, taking me out. Let's, let's plan some trips, man. We're going to go we do some fit cool fishing trips. Fishing rods in there. Oh, yeah. We're going to, yeah. yeah. We're going to do some cool stuff, guys. Uh, and as always, check out ISIL Power. Uh, support Jeremy and his company. So I'll leave links down below if you want to check that out. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to close it out here. Cool. Good Thank times, you buddy. again. Yeah. Stay tuned for the next adventure, guys. I'll see you in a bit. See ya.